Um, so, <clears throat> I, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. I'm, I'm going to mark this. I wanted to talk about this because um, I think I'm confusing people about it. So, I can't... I'm trying to think about... Uh, uh, Lewis sort of corrected me about this yesterday. Because I had written, like, in this thread, this big long blob, I had something wrong. And I recently, and I edited it. Edited it. it. Edited it. <laughs> Here's what I edited. Um, I had this, this part wrong, yeah. So, so here's the deal. There is a um, github.com numenta uh, nupic.research. And I know we used to have a nupic.research and we, we changed it to something else and then, so, but this is now the current research repository. So the Python 3 um, numenta research repo is right here through in chat um, this is not Python 2 this is Python 3 so everything forward happens here in Python 3 this um, I was talking to Lewis about this yesterday if we're going to we're gonna we're gonna very selectively take any C++ that we might need to support research and put it here so we're going to add if we need to, and we maybe we will need like sparse matrix, some one of the matrix libraries, or, or what is it? I forget what it's called. The sparse matrix library that's in Nupic core, that's also in HTM research core, right? And modified for something. They modified it for something. Um, we would put that C, a CPP folder in here, and um, and bind specifically the absolute minimum of what we would need to expose that and that would be for optimization of something right that, that it wouldn't be um, we're not trying to make production system here it's just to, it's an optimization for a research experiment so that's the direction that we're going like we're not I, I want I want to help and try and make it happen that newpick.cpp turns into the de facto um, and I can't say official, you guys. I can't like bless the the community fork from from Nementa. I know that I, it's it's very hard to do that. You know, I, I, we did it for David Ray for his um, for HTM Java a long time ago because because he, he David wanted us to call it the official Java implementation of HTM, and you know we vetted it really hard. It took a long time, and we can't put the time into content like vetting testing or whatever or establishing standards or anything like that we're, we're totally focused on research so um, that's that's where we're at I'm just trying to figure out how I can support research because I want them to keep researching they're like there's brilliant stuff going on I'm very happy with the direction the research is going I think it's the right way to go right I, I think that the way that the, the research is heading is in the direction of understanding Tr truly understanding intelligence and implementing systems that can be intelligent in the same way. I think that's that's the right direction. Um, so I hate to slow them down. I don't want to slow them down. So I, I want to support the community as much as I can. What I will do, what I will, what I will do for you guys, and I'm talking to the HTM community, especially you guys who have been working on the community fork. I will work to make. Um, the Python 3 de facto, not official, but de facto, right? Like the only available, probably, HTM implementation in Python 3 at the end of this year is probably going to be based on nupic.cpp with the bindings that you guys put into place. And when people pip install, hopefully they're going to pip install HTM. We'll talk about exactly what, but HTM or HTM.cpp or HTM.py or something like that. But they're going to pip install HTM. That makes that essentially the de facto HTM in that environment. So let's work to make that happen. Pip install HTM and that comes from nupic.cpp. They've got the fast C version of the algorithms in there and, and they've got a small PyBind wrapper. If you guys wanna create an OPF or something like an OPF for that, put it in a different repo, that the perfect place would be nupic.py currently where, where that is. And that would be a separate project that uses the bindings that exist in uh, nupic.cpp. 
That's what I'm hoping. I, I will help make that happen. Um, like the part of my whole Twitch experience here and engagement that I want, that I like and take, I want to take advantage of is having at least one day a week where I can work on community projects like this. And so I will work hand in hand with you guys to try and um, turn newpick.cpp, give it some examples. Um, you know, I'll be your test user. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll poke around the edges. I'll, I'll help with some documentation and stuff and help with getting it deployed to PyPy so people can pip install HTM and get a running HTM system. Because that's definitely a win win for Nementa. We want people to be able to easily install an HTM system in an, in an environment, in any of their environments, and start playing around with it and see what they can do with it. OK, that's my soapbox on that. Um, all right, so all the new code is going to go into, into Nupic Research. The other two repositories are, have been archived. So I think they might even be in, I think there's a group, yeah, there's an archive here. So we've already archived HTM research, and we haven't archived, this, this is an old archive actually. Yeah, that's, that's old. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Nupic research. Here's the. This one is not. It's not archived yet, but it probably will be. And there's the core, which we haven't touched in a while. That's. We haven't. We're not using these right now. Um, I'm not even sure with Marcus and, and the simulations that he's running that he's actually actively using these at this point. Um, our our position is we're we're going to write everything in Python three. Anything new is going to be in Python three. And as soon as we need to port some C or get some C loaded in Python 3, then we're going to deal with that when we deal with it. And when we do deal with it, we're going to make it happen in NewPick Research. So this is going to be the one Nementa re research repository. OK. So um, I'm going to post this little rant or diatribe I just went on. Is diatribe, is that the right word? I won't look it up right now. Um, OK. I'll post that here, and then DMAC, respond to DMAC conceptually. So we are, we're talking about parameter optimization. Um, parameters must be in a machine-readable format, must be accessible to the parameter optimization program as well as the experiment being optimized. Oh. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he, he's just talking about like the optimization algorithm um, does does not have to be tied to HTM. Doesn't have to be tied to anything. It could, it, it could have a very generic interface, which would be a good thing. 